Hey folks, how you doing? Subscribe. I have a lot of interesting things to talk about in the future. And hopefully today, it'll be, what I have to say will be interesting to you. I'm talking about uh, causality, the power of causality. Okay. Um, it is like positive power. Okay. It usually associated with the male. And women have it also. They have positive energy. But most of the human body is negative. And so the quest of the person, the quest of the person is to turn the negative energy into positive energy. And in this way, the person becomes causal. The mythology tells us this. It tells us how a person can become causal, and this is uh, the main one of the main things that uh, the mythology, myth mythology discusses. Even if it's astronomical mythology, the bottom line is with the human being. So the astronomical mythology also shows the way of uh, the human becoming a positive force completely, you see. Uh, the, the positive energy in a human is basically here, behind the eyes. Between the eyes and behind the eyes. That's where you find uh, the majority of positive energy in the human. But most of the, the body is negative. So the quest is to turn this negative energy into positive energy. This requires what they call purification. You see. When they talk about purification, they're not talking about some sin that somebody thinks they have committed. And so they go pray in order to um, get rid of the sin. No. When you get into the mythology, and actually all the religions, what is meant by purification is changing the negative energy in the person to positive energy, which is equivalent to, when this is done, this is equivalent to uh, causality. So we see in... Uh, uh, like I said, this is in all the mythologies. But we see in the Christian tradition, for example, uh, where the women, seven of them, I believe, the Marys and Martha, etc., are told to give their substance uh, to Jesus. Their substance is negative. Okay. So, what hap what's going on here is that this uh, mythology thing here about uh, the Jesus Christ, it takes place within the human. It's not something that takes place out here in the world. It takes place in the human because the human, okay, is the one that the mythology is meant for. So uh, an individual then must take his negative energy, okay, and make it positive. This is what this is what they're saying when they the women are told to give their substance to Jesus. This this substance we say well is in Jesus, but what Jesus have to do is make it positive. Take the negative and make it positive. These women then are are, are in the individual. You see. They are in the individual. Individual could be male or female. But it's just telling us that that negative energy must be made to become positive. And this is well how Jesus becomes the Christ. The Christ is a totally positive energy and causal. 
He's no longer the reactive creature that we see in uh, the negative aspect. He's not the reactive creature. He is now the positive. He is the causal creature. You see? And so the mythology points the way for human beings to become causal. Now, let's don't sit around and react to things. Be causal. Cause events to take place. This is what all mythologies teach us. But in order to do this, well, yeah, to become causal, a person's got to construct a conducive environment, an environment that is helpful to changing the negative aspect over to the positive aspect. This requires what, what they call purification. And this is, we see this in the, uh, in the cross, for example. The two lateral arms of the cross are, are stations where purification uh, takes place when a person does uh, certain exercises. in order to turn negative energy into positive energy. So we see the cross and we say that the cross starts it down here at the bottom and it goes up station here goes up and it comes down station here. These two stations the right and the left Excuse, yeah, the right or the, and the left, the east and the west, are stations of purification when doing the exercise. So during an exercise, a person can imagine that the negative energy comes to the station here. And... He can let it rest there for a moment or two. Then it moves on to the head. Then it comes back to this side where it stops. And then it proceeds on down to below the abdomen. This continues. Just to give an idea, this continues. But as I said, most of the positive energy in an individual is here between the eyes and behind the eyes. So we take, take this energy here, the point of purification, take it up here and on down. So when we come up here, we're going be, behind the eyes. And this process continues. And the eyes are also used in this process because of their, let's say, proximity to, let's say, the pineal gland. So this is part of the exercise. Okay, because remember, the positive energy is up here. Most of it. The majority of it. And the human body is up here behind the, behind the eyes. So, we see now that uh, doing this exercise of purification, that we're getting rid of or what we're actually doing is transforming a negative energy into the positive. And from time to time, it is said that 
the individual must return to the womb or return to the mother in order to make certain of his inheritance. Because here, below the navel, is where we start. And this is where we say the, uh, the development of what we will call the mystical child takes place. This is the child. This child becomes causal eventually. After going through the, the process of purification. Purification is getting rid of the negative energy. Or we can call it a reconciliation with uh, the negative and the positive. But the positive takes over. And this is when the person becomes positive. But this positivity doesn't last, you know. A person must continue to do his exercises, you see. And he can hold on to this positivity or this causality, okay, for a short while, maybe a day, two days. Some say three days, you see. But a person continues to do his exercises. And so he can also, he can uh, give rebirth to this causality over and over again. Because he doesn't hold on to it throughout life. But he can bring it on as he wishes. This also has to do with the... Uh, What they call uh, the ba and the ka. This is the same principle. They call, they call the ka a, 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 a point of fixity. And when, the, when this fixity occurs, the ba spirit comes to the person. So this is telling us that uh, the Ka has reactionary power. The reactor is negative. Causal is positive. So when the Ka becomes positive, a point of fixity, the spirit descends. And the spirit is the light. Okay. Okay, folks. Uh, We'll get back to this. We'll get back to, we'll discuss uh, how a situation can be uh, brought on within the human. Where these events become necessary. These events will not be able to, let's say, uh, refuse to come about. This is the law of necessity. I mean, it's got to happen. We'll discuss that shortly. Okay, folks, I will... Uh, have a good day and subscribe, and I'll uh, be with you soon. Have a good one. All right, bye-bye.